I mean, yesterday my mom texted me, I guess Brian Cranston was just on Kelly Clarkson this week, like talking about the big like death scene with me and they're sending it to me. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. So they, Really? Yeah. Do you, so do you still talk to Aaron and Brian? Yeah. I just yeah. saw Aaron at a karaoke party. I love Aaron so friend. much. He's such a nice guy. He's he was nervous best. about karaoke. Oh, God. And, and then he ended up doing it. it I bet really he'd good. be great. He was great. Yeah. But I, what was that experience? I mean, you were on how many episodes? I don't know. I was, not many. Not many. I was in the second season. Mm-hmm. Maybe like eight episodes. I don't know. Uh, and so then, then that's a lot. One episode the following season. And how many episodes did you think you were going to be on when you first got the part? Like five. I ended up being in it more than I thought. And was it something that you, it was already hit by this point. It wasn't a hit. It wasn't a hit at this point. Mm-mm. It wasn't even like on the radar yet. When I took the gig, it was only a one season, seven episode show because of the writer's strike. So it was a big down and b- downtime in the industry. It was all slow. Um, I really liked the part and I wanted to get it. And my agent at the time, he was really good and really smart. His name was David Letterman. I was at, with a D, Letterman with a D. I was at Innovative Artists. I had another offer for something else that was more of like what I was doing, what I was doing. And he was like, let's hang on and let's see what happens with Breaking Bad because no one knows about the show yet, but it's but it's really good. And I think you could be really cool in this role. So we held, we waited until I until that happened. And, and you were so happy you got that. Fuck yeah. Because it was more like, it was like, you know, I, I just felt like it was more in my like Wheelhouse. Taste. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because before that, I was just doing a lot of like goofy, ditzy kind of comedy roles, which are fun too. But, you know. Was Vince on set? Yeah, Vince was on set or he was like, you know, what was really cool about him and those kind of showrunners, Melissa Rosenberg is similar, very detail oriented. And I think that that is like the key. I think when you have someone with such a true, clear vision, that's why you get some magic. Yeah. When you say detailed. Like we're talking. Yeah, was Vince directing that episode? No, he directed El Camino. Right. Um, but but that episode or a few of the episodes that you did, he didn't direct, but he was there. And he's sort of like almost like Spielberg, Tobe Hooper and Poltergeist where, where Tobe Hooper was directing it. But did Spielberg direct it? Well, kinda. it's just kind of the thing like for just for one stupid example, like the character is wearing a belt. They take pictures of both belts and it goes to Vince. Vince is going to choose. the. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, to, yes. All little things like everything mattered to him, which I think is very cool. Um, and Melissa Rosenberg is, has a similar style and it doesn't, that doesn't always happen with showrunners, right? It's like a free for all. 